Lusikisigi has the highest rate of teenage pregnancy in the country. Under the national state of disaster, teenage pregnancy increased by 60% in the country. A call has been made to open statutory rape cases for those who impregnate children. We are slow, both as government, NPOs, the community at large, the traditional leaders, to open statutory rape cases, even though the law says um, chill, uh, when a child has had sex below the age of 16, that's statutory rape. For some strange reason, we find it difficult to actually start charging people. And for as long as we are hesitant in actually evoking that particular part of the law, whether it's the blessers, everybody will continue to take advantage of the girl child. It's time that we need to be serious about protecting uh, the rights of children. It cannot be that 25 years later, the situation of South Africa's children has gotten worse. For government to embark on developing recreational centers and facilities so that at least children have something to do when they put the books away. Otherwise, if you come in here, the only thing they can do after they have finished studying is to look for a boyfriend. Now, if there is nothing to play with, they will take sets and make it a game and play. But if you can focus on that and make sure that in schools we have educators that are trained to understand when we talk about learner or child pregnancy. A number of issues that lead to teenage pregnancy have been identified. What drives young girls to sleeping with older men is poverty. Many homes are impoverished and people don't work. So girls sleep with elders who have money so that they can help in their homes. Children need to be taught more so that when they reach a certain age, they understand the dangers of sleeping with older men. It can help to have children participate in sporting activities. Residents have been called to work with authorities to protect children. Randy Lembulali, Lusigisiki in the Eastern Cape.